Hey everyone. Good morning. My internet's going in and out, so we're kind of walking in and out here. But wanted to. I woke up this morning and just wanted to had some really cool insights that I wanted to throw out and I had a question. I wondered if anybody else was feeling like this uh, or has approached things like this. I tend to view the world as a reflection of what's going on outside as a reflection of going on what's inside. And and this morning I was really looking at I've been struggling with an internal issue and I start thinking about the the, the what's going on politically right now and the three candidates. And it just hit me as like why why we really look at and you know, why everybody's so strong this year on their preferences on the on the candidates because it's a very distinct uh, thing that's happening that hasn't happened in a long time. There's a lot of questioning. There's a lot of very strong emotional energy going on, and it's like right now in my own personal life, I'm experiencing all this strong emotional energy coming up, and I know I intentionally started it last October because I wanted to make some major transformational breakthroughs in my life, and I really wanted to 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 take a different path and a path that would be uh, an up level to what I was doing. But I had to go deeper inside to do that. And I start looking at the political kids and go, why is it that I really, really like Bernie? Why, what is it about Bernie that really, that I'm really attracted to? And I realized that we all have, or that I have all three candidates inside of me. I've got my internal Trump, I've got my internal Bernie, and I've got my internal internal of uh, 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 Hillary and and the external stuff that's going on at least for me right now is just an absolute great representation of the internal struggle that I'm dealing with you know on one hand we've got the you know we've got Trump who's out there and he's very you know he's he's some people some people perceive him as honest but he, but for me, you know, I, I view him as like very a bit pompous and egotistical. And uh, but that represents the egotistical, pompous part of myself. And it doesn't matter how you feel about each of the candidates. If you view your external life and the people around you as mirrors of yourself, then you look at them and you go, OK, how is that dynamic playing out within me? What's going on between my however I view that candidate? as or that person or that situation how is that playing out inside of me and i wonder if anyone else has has dealt with that because i i see i can see the pros and cons of each person just like i can see the pros and cons of each part of myself i've got the strength part and i've got the challenge part i've got the strength part and i've got the challenge part and and the I look at the choice I've made now politically and I go, what does that say about me internally? And because I view integrity, uh, that Bernie is a man of integrity, that that particular candidate doesn't mean that the others don't have integrity, but just for me, I view Bernie as having, you know, the strengths I see as his real appeal to it's about we, not me. And it's about unity and bringing together all the parts of myself. Uh, and hit, and I resonate with the unity message, with the like, that I want to bring all these internal parts of myself. I want to let go of control. I I want to let down the walls. I don't want to be building walls in myself. I look at my reaction to Trump's just you know announcement that he wanted to build a wall in Mexico, and I thought, wow, it's like no, we don't build. You know, we don't we don't bring unity about by building walls we bring unity about by being vulnerable by breaking down walls by allowing people to come in and and how do you keep your own heart open in the face of disillusionment in the face of attack in the face of overwhelming uh influx of of things that that just take you off path and distract you and and draw on your resources how do you you know it, it raises all these questions and just like uh we've got and like with hillary hillary is in undoubtedly in, in my opinion an intelligent strong woman but i also because i'm a personality uh a profiler i work with the uh, 
human design systems, uh, and not just human design itself, that is an actual uh, uh, path, but I mean, the, the, the concept of we have a design, we have a path. I read hands, I, I work with the maps, I read the maps, and astrology, numerology, the hands, the playing cards, they're all maps. And, it, and beside it being fascinated to look at the maps of the candidates and seeing how that energy is playing out. But if I look at it internally again, uh, my perception of, of what's going on with the Hillary issue, for, for me, what Hillary, the Linda Hillary represents, and, and what I see happening outside and how I perceive her, is she will use whatever, she, you know, she says whatever she wants to say to get into power. It's a power issue uh, and a control issue uh, where Trump is about how do we work with ego and 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 separatism and Bernie is about how do we create unity and and bring all the parts uh, together and work with, for the common good and with high integrity and in their campaigns uh, I feel they've reflected that you know on one level Bernie has he, not only is he seems to be living his you know, the ideal and he has been solid in his and perceived by the majority of people as honest that there doesn't seem to be a question that Bernie is sincere and honest that doesn't seem there's no generally there's no real argument about that um, the honesty uh, of Hillary true or not true has been questioned the integrity has been questioned Trump it seems like uh, there's a lot he's he is obviously playing to the fears of the people and where I where Bernie is is inspiring people Hillary is doing both you know so we've got um, you know in, in when I was looking at that this morning internally I started going, wow this is so relative to what I'm dealing with right now in myself and making a transformation to transform my life and that's where we're at I think globally we We've got to make a change. We've got to transform uh, the things that we're doing. And that is, uh, and my whole life has been about helping people, myself and others, transform their life to, to, to embrace all parts of the self, but enable us to find a way to work together and, bring, and, and be strong. And I've noticed that since I've been really uh, actively involved this year in the political process, uh, I've become much more clear that integrity is so important in my life and I'm working my deck to clear and looking at it. it's really I've become strong and it's been a lot stronger and it's enabled me to clear uh, some of the uh, doubts I've had and it's gotten me very more focused on that freedom and truth is what sets us free, you know, tr the, the concept, truth tr tr sets us free is that concept. Is anybody else resonating to this that's out there? Uh, if you are, uh, I'd love to hear your comments. And have you thought about it this way? I mean, am I the only one? I'm sure I'm not the only one that thinks about things this way. But uh, I wanted to throw it out there. Uh, uh, I am so grateful for the support system and the, and the people that have been uh, around to help me make my transformation in life. And I'm at a new phase in life where I'm really stepping out into more visibility to help other people uh, do that as well. Uh, so, if you, you know, if you comment, let me know your thoughts. I mean, have you? Do you view that? How do you view it? Uh, where, where, how is that process? Or have you thought about it that way? And uh, if you did, could it help you maybe shift or or do something that helps you get more clear or? or strong in your life. Uh, maybe this sharing will help you do that. So uh, if I can support you in any way or if, if that's something that uh, 